Flossie's due like Monday, but it could be any day. <laughs> Huge. Flossie. She's due tomorrow. Is due with Stud Muffin's baby tomorrow. We're getting her down here, getting her some treats, some alfalfa pellets. It's gonna be tonight, so Give you some extra boost and uh, get you used to coming in the stanchion again. Check for mucus. Plenty of mucus. Still I swollen. A, I gave her a little more RC gold. Feel the udders. The udders aren't too tight. I don't remember the udders getting too tight on her though. No, they never get tight. They just mm -hmm. get really tight when she has it. Right. Like She's officially really due tomorrow. Can you hold out till Christmas? Could you, could you give us a Christmas baby? That would be fun. On Christmas Day? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> It's a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> Get in. Coming. Let's go. <laughs> you're looking awful excited to do this. Are you sure you're gonna do it? Yes. I know Josiah will do it. Jonah. Hey, don't strip it down. Don't strip it down yet. He says he wants to do this with us. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think. I'm my shirt I I'm think he might get his toes too. in. Give you some context. It's December 22nd at Mountains of Western North Carolina. Hey, you guys about ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my lower back's been sore lately. Very uncomfortable. Tense, tense, maybe not sore. I'm kind of thinking it might be my chronic Lyme disease, but in any regard, I think this might help. Just gotta do it. I'm trying to get my breathing under control. Is that helping? I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to myself. I'm getting it under control. My body's there. Just touch my whole everything. There we go. Touch my whole now body. I'm relaxed. Almost. I didn't touch Woo. my whole body anymore. <laughs> Before I get numb. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help but hollering out. Woo! Nervous. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I don't want to do it. Just do it. You can't be thinking about it. I know. Go, Mr. Brown. Think about it. Get in. You try. Jump in. <laughs> Get in over your head. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. Head two. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Good job. Jonah, what gives? <laughs> Okay. I Good morning, Beck. Good morning. Polar plunged. Yeah, how was it? It was awesome. I stayed in and I almost got control of my brain. So Rebecca, why is that so good for me to jump in that cold water? Where people um, think I'm a crazy person. Just off the top of your head. You don't have to give there's all There's like lots of good reasons. It stresses your immune system. It is good for my, your mind. Like Why is stressing your immune system good? Well, you stress it just a little bit, and then that helps your immune system kick in to do work, and yeah. then it helps it get better yeah. over time. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Sure makes me feel better. Yeah. It Energized. Like it's, it's all sorts of. Just Google it. Google it. Ask Mr. Google Pants. He'll tell you all about it. He'll tell you I'm not so crazy. Lily, make it smoothies for breakfast. Cause we got a special lunch date with the fam. Fell fell for a last year. Whoa, you give her so much. How much you give her? Huh? Just five, five okay. pounds, bro. Good lord. One of those slobbery eaters. Papa. This is the trade off. I give you alfalfa pellets and new grass every day and hey, and you give me milk. So look, to compare of all of us, look how much smaller that is. Fossies is like three times as big. Are you excited to have a stud muffin baby? A stud muffin mini me? Uh, if it's a, I hope it's a girl. Yes. And then we keep it. We hope it's a girl, A2, A2. Thank you, you made me some broth this morning. <laughs> you little cook. 
Thank you. Did you salt it? That's good. Good temperature too. What, what did it get up to? Did it get up to 120? 120. Good job. Did you turn it off? Get mom hers? Aw. All I have to do to get the smoothies is pour in the Aww. smoothie. Can I have a hug and a kiss? Aw. Mm. Sweet girl. All a part of the team. Josiah's helping uh, Gideon. Uh, Jonah's out. Jonah's getting the hay ready. I'm milking. And Mama's probably researching something. Oh, hey, look at you. Breakfast, thank you. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? Aw, oh. oh, it's my little bird. Thank you. Look at this. This is like Jonah's favorite position. Position. <laughs> it's neat to be connected to the animals this way, isn't it? Yeah. Probably so good for you. Yeah. It's a big teddy bear right here, isn't it? <laughs> well, you can only teddy bear when she's in the stand. She's in the bear. Yeah, I know. And there's no shortage of milk. That's easy. A gallon and a half. We're about to have more, aren't we? And you'll probably give about that much too. We're getting three gallons a day. You ready? I'm just doing what Papa did, so I'm not gonna do right for her. She's huge. You got twins in there? Man, I cannot wait to have Stud Muffin's calf on this farm. When we first got home from the Great American, guys, the Great American Farm Tour, like we were home two years ago. Today? Today. Maybe tomorrow. Two years. Two years. By the time this is going out, two years to the day. Here you go, Beth. Hold this for me. I'm going to lay down right there. Okay. That's just so. <laughs> <laughs> and we soon got a family cow, Violet. She was pregnant. She had her calf. You okay? Okay. But never went back into heat. So Stud Muffin had no chance with her. And when we got these cows, welcome home. Last January, February, they were pregnant. And finally Stud Muffin has rebred both of them. This one being due any day. Look, come in here. <laughs> Are you our new dog? Come here. Amanzo. Amanzo. <laughs> he doesn't even look. <laughs> hey, I think I'm gonna need another quart jar. I'm making a huge mess. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. All right. We end up doing it. That's okay, you can take it away. Thank you. Thank you guys both. To the rim. So, you know, half a gallon is right here. So we have Easy over a gallon and a half. So I want to start the cup. Hey, there. Wait, where's your shoes, Miss Brown? I don't you know. had them this morning, man. I don't know how we're. Come on, come help look. I don't see them in there either, Gideon. Did you go barefoot this morning? The bet you're gonna just wear those. Okay, well let's put them on and let's go. Jonah, you get to try the pedals today. Yeah, do the gears. Or right, I guess you're in gear. All right, ready? Whoa! <laughs> he's having a, <laughs> it's like he's trying to drive a clutch or something. Stop there and hit the gas too hard and the bells went flying out. Bring down the hay bale, y'all. <laughs> we put them on sideways like that, we can keep the tailgate shut. So this is tricky. We got to pull up with Sally, back up into here, and then go up the lane. Hey, Jonah. Alright, 
we got them there. Hey, let's go. Mr. Brown, you're not gonna wear any socks? Nope, not five. I thought we had everything ready. Nope. And I guess we do if you're not gonna wear socks. That's one good thing about winter, if things slow no, down enough that, bye. hey, we can go have lunch. Yeah. Put your on your other shoe, Gideon. Yeah, do you want to go to Big Donald's? We Papa? just had it here. Did, did y'all take his shoe? Ah yeah. oh, ha ha, there it is. Okay, uh, Mr. Brown. Where is your shoe? Right here. A lot of you guys have said you should write a children's book about that. I'm on it. I'm on it. Bye, we are going to go to McDonald's without you. I've always wanted to write a book, so why not a children's book? Why not? Why not? Well, the holdup is not necessarily the story. I've unwritten that. It's not the illustrator. Somebody's already contacted me about that. It's the legal forms. It's the editing. It's the designing. It's the actually publishing and then promoting. Hey, let's go to the other side, G. Or not. Where are you? He's back here. He was well on his way. Come on. Oh, he doesn't have socks on. We got a socks. I'll get him some socks. You look nice. Thank you. From head to toe. Alright, so what you're telling me is you want him to have socks. Do you, I need to do your hair? Did you want and you want them to have oh, their yes, dress shoes? Like that. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm saying like maybe that's best. Lily, what shoes are you wearing? Okay. Do you know where their dress shoes are? I'm not going anytime soon. Do you want to go to poo? Well, do y'all know where the dress shoes are? Because we got to find those. My my closet. Closet. Dress shoes and socks. Rebecca said. She didn't care what they wore. <laughs> I guess I read that signal wrong. Let's go get their dress shoes. Okay. All right, that's nice. Good job, Rebecca, organizing that. Let's do socks. Matching socks. That's got to be all right. All right, we're there. Oh, shoes on time. Where are we, Mr. Brown? Have you ever been to Pisana before? Yes, you no. have. We did come one time. This is a special occasion. This is my What's this? No, you can see why, because it's fancy. So we have to coming, behave ourselves. We're coming as a new Christmas tradition brunch. Oh. Where we will come at the Christmas season, close to Christmas, and have brunch. Our Christmas traditions are stacking up. I don't care. I'm like you like it? <laughs> I'm not arguing. I know. Are you arguing? <laughs> Chris, Christmas tradition. You're Pisana? arguing a little no, bit. No, I'm talking about her. Oh, okay. oh, he'd rather be home, cleaning his room. No, I don't like anything. Is this Gaps approved right here? The cinnamon it is room? Not. It is gluten free. <laughs> Everything's gluten free. Everything's gluten free, and I'm letting my hair down a little bit. Yeah. So, are we falling off the wagon here, or what? A little bit in the home. But like, for the most part, Thanksgiving no. was all gaps. You've been doing gaps for a year. Almost a year. So you're going back on the wagon after oh, this? Yeah, like I'm not. We're still doing bras. This is your water, right? Um, we're still doing gaps for the most part. Yeah. I feel like I've healed a lot, and I've done a little bit here and there, and I've been okay. So we're just gonna go with it. What'd you get, Josiah? Uh, french fries and grilled cheese. What'd you get, Mom? I got a, a fried chicken sandwich. I normally don't eat it. I just put it off to the side. I'll give it to the kids. Could I eat it? What'd you get, Mr. Brown? Here, we'll just put it off to the side. Grilled cheese, uh, biscuit, grilled cheese, and french fries. And I got the, like a good southern boy. Fried chicken, biscuits, and gravy. What'd you get? So how was it, everybody? Good. I hope that I didn't overdo it. With my oh, <laughs> Rebecca's all these new Christmas traditions getting to you. <laughs> Afternoon chores, special guests, the fit farmer, and chill chiddlers. <laughs> yep. What is everybody's name? Mike, fit farmer. And 
Josiah. Okay, does that make you the fit children? <laughs> that's, that's a good uh, courtesy laugh to that dad joke right there. Mike is here because he's my friend. He's coming to visit. But we're also doing a member webinar tonight with Mike. And we're talking about health and fitness on our uh, webinar to our Do It Yourself Abundance Premium members. It should be a lot of fun. You done? Can everybody say family friendly farming? Family, family friendly, friendly farming! <laughs> Putting the fit farmer to work. There we go. Mike, I love it when he comes. He always comes and he always says, What do you want me to do? We're up here at the top. Glossy's kind of over to the side. Did she have her baby? Nope. No baby? All right. That view though. She's got her tail up? Or is she pooping? She's due tomorrow, but it can be any day. Oh, wait, 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 back up, back up. She's having a calf. No? No. She pooping. She pooping. Her udder's swollen even from this morning. And do you see how her bulb is opening? Yeah. You think so? Who's the right. her all that way? We can bring her in. They're putting up the net for the sheep. Flossie, she's got her tail tucked in, strangely. Yeah, look, look how she tucks that tail in. You have that baby tonight? Mike. Yes, sir. It's time to call the sheep. <laughs> so say sheep three times. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Like that? <laughs> hey, it's working. Hey. Hey, where y'all going? You missed it. There you go. Wow. Good job. That's my first time doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go for it? Show us the best way to do it, fit farmer. This is a former uh, bodybuilding champion. Yeah. Were you a champion? I was. I'm actually pro. Oh my gosh, yeah. a pro champion. Just a couple years Moving ago. Moving my uh, sheep shaw. <laughs> when I was a kid and my dad used to work us hard, we used to always wish Arnold Schwarzenegger would show up. <laughs> he could move some wood piles. <laughs> Now we got him. We got him right here. <laughs> Fit farmers moving our sheep shawl. Get a little leg burn going up the hill. All right, we had to herd mama in to get moose in. We've got moose and calves in. Separating moose from mama and all that so the milk builds up in the morning. Jonah is herding Flossie in. Looks like she might have the baby tonight. It would just be a little easier to monitor everything if she's down in our stall. So we'll give her some hay, fresh water down there. Boom. Oh. We just did the webinar with Mike. I like that t-shirt, by the way. There we go. Uh, how'd the webinar go, buddy? I thought it was fun. I'd love to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Fit Farmer on YouTube. Why do they call it? Let's see it. Let's just jump to it. Let's just it jump out. to it. Okay, y'all. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, Don't cross him. <laughs> Don't cross him. Okay, so we had a good time on the webinar. There was a lot of anti-inflammatory talk. I think uh, maybe we could conclude that Everybody's an individual, uh, different diets serve different people. Exactly. But basically, you know, one big takeaway for me was we need to get up and moving, mm -hmm. even if you don't feel like it. Exactly right. If you have bad knees or bad back, you can swim, you could bike, yep. you could uh, yoga, different kinds of yoga, that type of stuff. Exactly right. Wouldn't you say that's right? So there's really no, no excuse. No. It comes down to basically good eating, good exercise, supplements when needed. Yep and just seeing what works for you. Yeah, and just making a decision to do something. Just get yeah. up and do something. Yeah. So the good news for you guys is we're gonna let you in on a premium webinar for free. Uh, we're gonna do that during the 12 days of Christmas. It'll be on the final day, the January 5th. Just found out tonight you're gonna enter a video into the 12 days Here of Christmas. Go. So we're gonna give away a bunch of stuff, including the Great American Farm Tour. People can watch that for free there and a bunch of other stuff. So. Uh, you can sign up for that link down in the description that starts officially December 25th, the first day of Christmas. Tomorrow. We're going to find him some shorts. He's jumping in. You going to get in the creep? I'm going to do it. Never done Let's it before. Let's see who can stay in the longest.